my beautiful butterflies what's up my handsome jets welcome back to my channel india chosen by god and on today's episode i'll be sharing with you episode five of the word of god speaks so let's get into it i want to read some lyrics to you the song is by maverick city music featuring naomi rain and the name of the song is the story i'll tell believing gets hard when options are few when I can't see what you're doing, I know that you're proven. You're the God who comes through. Oh, but I know that over the years, I'll look back on this moment and see your hand on it and know you were here. I encourage you all to go listen to this song if you haven't already heard it before. Um, it will encourage you because it really encouraged me. I'll be reading from Psalms 32 verse 8. I will instruct you and teach you. In the way which you shall go, I will guide you with my eye. The title of my message is where God guides, he provides. When we allow God to guide our steps, we will not stumble and fall because the glory of God will sustain us. Let God take full control of your situation. We have to stop taking our problems out of God's hands and we need to leave them there. Once we give it to God, don't pick it back up. And the Lord shall guide you continuously and satisfy your soul in drought and make fat your bones. And you shall be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose water fell not. Fell not. Isaiah 58 verse 11. I want to share my story with you all. Through this whole pandemic, God has provided for my mom and I. My mom has been out of work for a whole year this past March, but still God provided. The next month, which was April of 2020, my mom was able to start receiving unemployment. When my, when my, then my hours started picking up on my job and corporate gave us a pay raise due to the pandemic. God made a way for my mom to pay off her car. A few months go by and the unemployment for my mom went down and I was no longer receiving the, the pay raise. Things got harder, but God still provided. By the times we are living in, I believe that God is showing us that he is who he says he is and he will do what he said he will do. God wants us to write the vision and make it plain. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tablet that he may run who reads it. Habakkuk chapter two, verse two. The Lord put in my spirit to make a vision board at the beginning of this year. So I made my vision board. I actually um, posted that video on my channel. I'll link it up here at the top. Um, but the Lord had me to write my vision. And um, when the Lord has you to write down your vision, it becomes real to you. Uh, because, you know, we live in a world where we have to see it in order to believe it. So God is wanting his people to write their visions down and believe God that he will come through for you. And one of the things that I wrote down on my vision board was I wanted to become an entrepreneur. And the Lord is slowly making that happen for me. I'm getting ready to open an online boutique called India Martinez Boutique. And um, the Lord has been providing for me to um, get it started. And once I had that mind change, um to write my vision it activated my faith so when you when when you activate your faith god moves because everything that the lord has for us is already done he's just waiting for us to step out on faith he's just waiting for us to make that first step and believe in him no matter what happens that he will come through for us god will provide and I just want to encourage you and let you know that 
If God has placed in you to start a business, start that business. If God has placed in you to open up a practice, open up that practice. If God has placed in you to be a hairdresser, open up a salon, you know, and um, whatever that is to you, God is saying right now, go forth, step out in faith. I will provide for you. Trust me. I will come through. Amen. So trust God with everything that you're going through in this season. Put it in his hands. He will make a way. He will provide. And I just want to read the scripture one more time before I go. Psalms 32 verse 8. I will instruct you and teach you in the way which you shall go. I will guide you with my eye. God is going to guide you. God is going to give you the visions. God is going to give you the wisdom and what you should do next. So keep trusting him and believe he will come through. Heavenly Father, I come to you in Jesus' name. Lord, I just ask you to touch each person that's listening right now, God. I pray that you'll wrap your loving arms around them. I pray that you'll give them peace in their mind, body, and spirit and let them know that you're right there with them, God. I pray that you'll continue to reveal yourself to them, Lord. Continue to reveal what it is that you're calling them to do, God. And continue to give them courage to step out on faith, Lord, and to trust you no matter what, God, that you will come through for them. And God, I just ask you just to bless their families, God. And if there's a person listening to me that's not saved, I pray that you would save them, Lord. Bring them in and make them a mighty witness for you. Let them know that you are what, they're, what they need. I plead with the Jesus of each person. Ask you to put a hedge of protection around them, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I actually preached a sermon on this on the 18th of April. And um, I will have that link below if you'd like to see it. Um, I was a little nervous when I preached it, but God was still glorified. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. Love you guys. God bless.